Disney workers, or guests, what is the biggest public employee meltdown you have witnessed? It wasn't really a meltdown, nor was it an employee, but I stayed at Alani, the Disney resort in Hawaii and you're supposed to wear a wristband to use the facilities, so they know you're a guest, and not just some random tourist who walked in off the beach. This big burly guy with a New York accent had been sitting next to me with his family all day and all the rest of them were wearing wristbands, so I knew they were guests, but he was apparently feeling stubborn, and wasn't wearing his. An employee approached him, and asked nicely, if he would go put his wristband on and the guy turns to her, and snarls the last time I wore a wristband was in prison. The look on the employee's face still makes giggle. The only times I've ever seen cast members freak out at guests, were grad nights at Disneyland. These are basically nights where Disney fills the park to absolute maximum capacity with graduating high school seniors, read, stupid teenage assholes. I heard that management basically tells the CMS that work grad nights to basically do whatever they gotta do to keep everyone safe, which I guess sometimes includes yelling and screaming, lol. I was an intern at Disney for the college program. It was from January to August of 2012. I worked front desk at the Riverside Hotel. A gentleman came up to me and asked if he could exchange his gift cards for cash because he was checking out that day. I had to explain to him that we do not exchange Disney gift cards for cash. He did not like my answer and went into this tantrum. He said something along the lines of, fuck Disney World. Fuck you. Fuck this stupid hotel. Fuck your stupid parks. And fuck these stupid gift cards. He then proceeded to throw the said gift cards at my face and stormed off. My fellow cast members looked at me to see if I was okay. I commented, just smile and nod. I ended up keeping the gift cards, to cards $40 a piece, and treated myself and a friend to a nice dinner. It was an interesting start to a Tuesday. While visiting as a child I once saw Tiger hauling ass to a backstage area at Disney World, like full on running, and damn near knocking people over. This was decades ago, when costumed characters just meandered the parks without escorts and they didn't have specific timed meet and greets. It was an unbearably hot August afternoon, and I guarantee the poor bastard in the suit had vomited, and couldn't remove the head in a public space. Not really a meltdown, but definitely a break from their expected, and preferred, behavior. On my honeymoon my husband and I did the safari ride, which, if you don't know, involves a lot of cheese acting from the part of the driver and a lot of attempting to get the riders involved in the story, which, at least back then, was about saving a baby elephant from poachers. Fun if you care, really stupid if you don't. Well, that day no one on the ride cared, and it was obvious. Every time the driver tried to get a reaction people just stayed silent, or gave half-assed replies. Eventually the guy just got pissed and started being passive aggressive, and by the end of the ride I honestly expected him to just scream get the fuck off my ride you assholes. I hope the rest of his riders that day were in better spirits, because otherwise the poor guy probably had a stroke. I was once on Indiana Jones when the ride broke down and stopped. They eventually had to have people get out of the cars and walk out to do the repairs. They were trying to do it in an orderly way emptying one car at a time and escorting guests out. One lady was separated from her kids, two kids probably around 7 or 8. They were in the car in front of her, so they were exiting first and she had to wait. She was not having it and was full on freaking out. Screaming and trying to undo her seatbelt and go over people to get out of the car. Those are my kids. I need to get to my kids. You can't do this etc. They were trying to assure her that they would have a cast member wait with the kids and it would only be a couple of minutes but she would not calm down. After a minute or so of that, some Disney security came out of some hallway and escorted her and her family away through another hidden door. Her family looked humiliated. Also, one time on the Jungle Cruise there was an older couple that looked fucking wasted. Slurred speech, barely sitting up, interrupting the skipper, dude looked like he was about to bath. Security was waiting for him when the boat got back to the boarding area. One that sticks out the most for me was working the jumping jellyfish. Bet you're gonna google it, I was checking belts before I started the ride. 
I look to my left, and see this punk ass little girl running on top of the rocks, and over the gates, and trying to sit on an empty seat. I look at my co-worker and he's looking at me to start the ride. I unlock the gates, and tell the girl to get out, and get back in line. I even told her it's not safe and to be patient. While we were checked belts, I see a furious mother coming towards us, and I'm just thinking. Fuck my life. In a ho the mom proceeds to yell at me calling me a racist, and ruining the magic. I just looked her dead on and said, are you done? First of all your daughter is running around climbing rocks and jumps over the gates, and tried to get on the ride, when I was about to start it. My job is to make sure people get on and off the ride safely. They are not paying me to watch your kids. Before you go off calling me all these names look at the example you're setting for your child. You're killing the magic. Now get over yourself and enjoy a fucking ride. It's been years since I have been to Disney World. I think the last time I was there, I was 13, which is nearly 20 years ago now. I was at the water park there one day with my friend and her family. My family went off to enjoy themselves elsewhere. We were in one of the pools when the lifeguards make an announcement that everyone needs to exit the pool. I think it was the wave pool, but I cannot remember. Everyone got out of the pool except for a group of older kids. I'd place them late teens slash early twenties maybe. Lifeguards ask a few more times for them to get out nicely. I know the group heard the announcements. They looked right at the lifeguards and laughed. Finally, one of the lifeguards had enough and said, Look you snot nose brats, either get out now and be allowed to stay in the park, or don't get out, forcing me to get in after you and drag you out of the park by your ears. It quieted everyone by the pool down. The group did get out though, and I assume, weren't forced to leave the park. That's about as bad as I have witnessed at the parks. Unless you count Dopey ignoring all the kids by him. There's an awkward picture of me standing by Dopey's leg, while he was busy looking the other direction. My sister used to work at Disney World in Orlando, so we would go a ton as kids. Once while leaving the park we all were loading into that people mover train and this 400 plus pound guy and his fat family tried to cut the line and physically threw my mom to the ground when she was climbing on ahead of them. If my father was there at that moment there would have been a murder in that parking lot. I love Disney. This isn't an employee meltdown it's a save. I went with my wife, two kids, Mill, Phil, Syl and her husband and kid. This was maybe 9 or 10 years ago. I booked through Triple R and the Disney admission tickets were supposed to be waiting for me at my hotel. My Syl and her families were there, but my families and my mother slash father-in-laws were not. The hotel told us they must be at the park. We got to the park, Orlando, to find they weren't there. I couldn't tell my two little kids who were standing at the entrance that we couldn't go in, so I paid for a new set of tickets for everyone. We spent some of the morning in the park, and then around 11am or, so I went to a guest service center, told them my issue, and then called my triple or agent, in order to have them help me straighten it out. For whatever reason they were being unhelpful to me, and I started to lose my shit in the service center, yelling into the phone asking for superiors phone numbers pacing back and forth, while young mothers with their children starting walking away from me. All of a sudden the young man comes from the back asks for my phone, and says he's familiar with these types of things involving Triple R, and would talk to them about it. He credits me back everything I spent, that morning to get in, around $800, and gave everyone in my group those things, that let you cut in line for the rest of the day. Totally shut me up. I was flabbergasted, and grateful at the same time. Disney will always have my loyalty for empowering that young man. To create that experience for me. I wish I could afford to bring my family back there. It happens a lot at the customer service call center. At least at the Tampa site. That I used to work at. There would be an ambulance there once a month at least. People can be so mean that I've cried. I'd read it Christmas. When they would pull us off regular package sales calls to put us on Disney shopping. People freak out over stuff that runs out of stock. Before learning that I still suffer from PTSD from childhood abuse I was taken from work mid-shift on a 3-day psych hold BC I was being harassed by a manager. I only worked for about 3 months more after a 6 month medical leave. 6 years of employment down the tube. Once you see how much they try to shove sales down people's throats and be sneaky about it it really turns you off and breaks the magic. 
I still shy away from all things Disney. And don't talk on the phone. Unless I absolutely have to. I won't order pizza. Unless I can do so online. I have also learned. That I don't like being a salesperson. And I'm now agoraphobic. Colon open bracket. I worked in Disney World in 2011 in the food court of the Pop Century Resort, and though I didn't see or know of any cast member breakdowns the guests sure did have some good ones. A guy was standing in the beverage and condiments area screaming that it was bullshit that there was no ketchup. But there was ketchup, and he was less than a foot away from it. Another time a guy asked me if I spoke Spanish. I said no, and was about to go find a cast member who did, when he started screaming at me Veronica Spanish main. We have to wear name badges. He was very upset about me not speaking Spanish, and being named Veronica. I had a friend who worked in Magic Kingdom, that had a group of Chinese tourists come in with a map to Universal Studios asking, if they were in Universal Hollywood. Disney has a Hollywood Studios park and they simply would not believe, that it was different from Universal. Major argument ensued. Update, adding one more to the list, I almost forgot I have seen an employee meltdown, but it was backstage in the kitchen area, and it had absolutely nothing to do with work. I was a low tier college program worker, and one of the higher up chefs, developed a crush on me. This dude was way too old for me, and would say shit like, did you know I'm still a virgin? Or so I've had a girlfriend before, but she would be mad, if she knew I called her my girlfriend. This was never mid-conversation, just out of nowhere. So one day he asks me to be his girlfriend, like, middle school style, and I said no. He seemed cool until two hours later, when he cornered me in the kitchen, and started uncontrollable sobbing on me, and yelling at me that it was crazy, that I didn't want a boyfriend, because he would do anything for a girlfriend, and on and on. He caused a huge scene and another chef literally had to pull him off of me. This happened a bunch of times with different girls every few months, and they never let him go for it. That's about all I got. I saw an employee freak out in downtown Disney. It was about 9.30pm and there were massive crowds around the bus terminals with people wanting to go back to their hotels. The buses don't have much room to squeeze by each other so there were employees directing traffic and herding sheeple onto buses. My boyfriend and I got on the bus first and tool seats at the very very back. As more people got on, an employee kept telling everyone to move back. No one listened to him. Everyone standing continued to ignore him and carry on conversations. There was plenty of space too for people to shuffle back into, but no one would budge. He then started to tell everyone the bus wasn't leaving, until he got on at least 20 more people. A few people tired of waiting on the bus started to yell back him to let the fucking bus go etc etc. This went on for about 10 minutes. People outside started yelling at people inside, the guy yelling at people to move back, and people telling him to shut the fuck up. Finally, he had enough and yelled back. Fine, leave you fucking assholes. I hope this bus drives off a fucking bridge and you all fucking die. Rideback was completely silent, 